let's consider this question we are going to check if this limit exists or if it does not exist to solve this problem let's recall some absolute value or modulus guiding rules if the absolute value of x is equal to a then we are going to have two answers x is equal to a and x is equal to minus a and this is true only if the value of a is greater than or equal to zero and if a should have a negative then this function got no solution with this rule in mind the denominator which is this will become this is minus and one we have a plus with this basic rule this limit will be splitted into two one of them we take this and the other we take this hence because of the presence of this absolute value this entire question will be splitted into two as x tends to one solving this we are going to get negative infinity and positive infinity next let's apply Le Hopital rule differentiate x and you're going to get one next differentiate one and you're going to get zero next differentiate x and you're going to get one next differentiate one and you're going to get zero and you are left with one divide minus one which is minus one differentiating this as well you are going to get plus one and you can see by applying the Hopital rule both are not equal hence this limit does not exist make sure you check out other videos and calculus and other pre-calculus videos and multiple solved exam questions in pre-calculus and to locate all the videos follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video